morning. Good morning. Welcome to Salem Baptist Church. It's good to see you out this morning. It's a late night last night. We were watching the ball game, and uh, unfortunately the Cats uh, didn't quite make it. It was one point short, but uh, had a good year. And uh, it's kind of late staying up watching, watching those games last night. But we're glad you're here. I know it's the beginning of uh, all spring break, and uh, we do have some people are out, some people are sick in the hospital. Uh, They've gotten home and uh, some people are traveling, so uh, so we be in prayer for them um, this week. We're glad you're here. Is there anyone visiting for the first time today? Anyone, anybody here for the first time today? All right, all the home folks here. Well, we're glad that you're with us and make yourself at home. We had 71 in Sunday school uh, this morning and uh, down a little bit from last Sunday. A year ago now, uh, we had 93. That was Easter Sunday a year ago. So uh, this year, uh, Easter's falling a little bit uh, later. Um, be about three weeks from today. And uh, run a little bit later uh, this year. And certainly we want to welcome you to our service this morning. Now tonight, there will be no team kids tonight and no uh, youth tonight. No youth and no team kids, but there will be a we will have services tonight. Wednesday evening at 7, our prayer meeting, our AGA's mission friends and ACT teams uh, and youth will meet. That's Wednesday evening. And Friday night at 7, the night that is when we will meet with Linda uh, Morris at 7 o'clock on Friday night. You know, this uh, past Wednesday night, we had uh, RAs and GAs and even the smaller ones that raced the cars and uh, certainly was a really good uh uh, night and had a lot of fun and uh, food and fellowship. I think we had about uh, 70 people there uh, on Wednesday night. And uh, if you weren't there, you certainly missed a, a good time. And the kids really had a good time. We certainly appreciate uh, their uh, leaders and those who work with them uh, in our age and days. Um, and I know they had a really good time. Today our youth will be having a fellowship luncheon uh, in the fellowship hall today following the morning worship service. So everyone's invited. Uh, it is a fundraiser for their summer youth trip and uh, they are going to be having barbecued pork and chicken along with several other sides. So everyone's invited to stick around and have some food and fun fellowship and support uh, our youth um, for this uh, event and fundraiser today. Uh, next Sunday, as our uh, centennial, bicentennial celebration continues, uh, next Sunday we will have a guest speaker and Brother Bernard Ray Carpenter will be our guest. He will be here. Uh, grew up in our church and uh, he's currently the associate pastor of Hillcrest Baptist Church in Frankfurt. And uh, certainly want to be here next Sunday for that event. And we will have a baked spaghetti lunch next Sunday. Uh, Anna Ruth, is that right? Baked spaghetti next Sunday following the morning worship service. So um, we certainly want to remember Brother Ronnie Fox. Uh, he was scheduled to come also, but uh, due to his stroke uh, and illness over the past few months, he's not physically able. And um, certainly to remember him in your prayers. We do have uh, celebration calendars. Uh, for our bicentennial, and uh, they're over here on the dry sink to my left and your right. And we do have mugs available, church mugs. Uh, that's centennial celebration. The mugs are two dollars, and the calendars, uh, which many of you already have, are ten dollars. So if you'd like to pick up one for someone, we still have those available. Our Touch Twice Clinic. Uh, 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 continues here uh, as we continue our prayer for the clinic, which is upcoming on April 16th. Today is our prayer uh, time for transportation, and uh, our coordinator for transportation, Brother Michael Black. Um, Michael, Michael here. Yeah, there he is. Michael, Brother Michael Black is uh, our transportation coordinator. He is in charge of getting all the vans and people who drive those vans. Uh, uh, hopefully, that the, in the churches that will provide the gas to uh, to stop and make stops all over Shelby County uh, to pick up people for uh, to bring them and transport them to the clinic if they're unable to get there um, and don't have transportation. So certainly uh, today on our 40 days of prayer, uh, that is our uh, prayer request today uh, to pray for uh, this part of our Touch Twice Clinic. There's certainly still time to sign up and. There is a sheet on the dry sink for items that are still needed. 
donations that uh, certainly would be appreciated uh, for the clinic as it's uh, just a few weeks away now and uh, preparations are, are kind of coming together, uh, trainings and uh, et cetera, uh, as we prepare for uh, a big outing at the clinic this year. Yes, sir. Let me break in. Uh, we have one more scheduled training for our volunteers. It will be at Wadi Baptist Church tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Now, we, we need a bunch more volunteers. So, uh, remember one of the goals that we adopted for our church was to have at least 50% half of our active members involved in mission outreach. So, if you've not signed up for that and can, let me encourage you to go to the website or talk to me or Judy or Donnie, <laughs> Michael, uh, and we'll get you signed up. We definitely need more volunteers. And you can do it, I promise you. We have several, uh, uh, as we continue here this morning on our prayer concerns uh, list uh, that, are, that are in your bulletin, on the back of your bulletin. Uh, we have several to add to that. Uh, Dalton and Brittany Figg's other grandfather, I understand, passed away. Uh, a Figg family. And uh, I think the last name is Smith, is that right? Someone help me there? Okay. Uh, Smith. And certainly want to be in prayer for them, for their families, um, in this difficult time. I think uh, they live in Louisville, but the uh, arrangements are in Taylorsville uh, at the funeral home, at one of the funeral homes in Spencer County, in Taylorsville. Is that right? Will someone help me out there? Okay. All right. And uh, certainly be in prayer for them uh, with the loss, certainly that they've had in their family here over the past uh, just a couple of weeks. Also, uh, I have uh, a couple other names that were added. Uh, Mark Trumbo, uh, that's Peggy, Peggy's brother-in-law. Uh, remember him, as he is, Peggy, I didn't, I didn't even get that written down, what he's having. Uh, he's doing dialysis. Dialysis, okay. Yeah. Uh, Shirley has had uh, foot surgery and she's uh, doing doing well and uh, we certainly are uh, appraised for that. Uh, a couple of others, uh, George Cottrell, uh, some of you uh, uh, know very well in Shelby County, uh, teacher, coach, Shelby County High School, uh, has been diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease uh, and I'm not sure about uh, information about that. Someone said three or four years that they have given him um, certainly a lot of them know him. He, he does a lot of singing, uh, a very beautiful voice. And he's been a teacher, Ernestine, at uh, Shelby County for several years. And a coach. 44 years old. 44 years old. Be in prayer for that family. Um, I have one person I'd like to add to the prayer list, too. He's in the military. Uh, he was a, a former baseball player of mine. Uh, 2007 graduate of Shelby County High School, uh, Terrence Shelburne, uh, who's, been de who's being deployed to Afghanistan. He uh, will be at forward in a forward line to Afghanistan uh, with his company. And uh, I think he's going to be deployed somewhere between the 11th and the 15th of this month. So certainly be in prayer for him and his family. I uh, went to a little thing for him. They said... Uh, we can't have any contact with him for like five months. The first five months with no contact with uh, from where they're going. And uh, they have to get the mail at, at a location that's 50 miles back behind the lines and, and have to get off before they can even get come in and get their mail. So, you know, I'm not familiar with that, but uh, these parents are sharing that with us. Are there others we need to remember on the prayer list here this morning? Well, I know, I know that we have one person that has a birthday today. Uh, Anna Ruth has a birthday. <laughs> she told me that she's 49 and holding. And so, Anna Ruth, is that right? 16. Oh, 16 and holding. <laughs> Let's sing happy birthday to Anna Ruth this morning. 
morning, all right? Thank you.